Uh, well, no, it's great actually to be busy. I mean, <clears throat> um, today actually, yeah, I was thinking what day was it? Well, anyway, it was today that we, uh, it was a great day. I mean, when you're kicking off at seven o'clock, uh, there's, a, there's, a, there's a long time, isn't there, to, um, uh, to, to the game. So to be having a few meetings and away with the boys, having a training session, uh, keeps, you, keeps you busy, keeps you going and uh, something to look forward to in the evening as well, which is great. So... These boys have been um, dying for the game for the, for the last 13 days and to, um, for it to finally come round and, and, and for them to improve and to get a big W on the, on the, on the, on the, on the board is, is very pleasing for them going forward. Is it nice to now be able to narrow your focus on Saturday? Yeah, well, the focus has, has, has been on both, both. Both games, both teams. Um, the, the, there's been no disparity there uh, whatsoever, so it's been quite um, easy, really. You know, um, we've been pretty lucky with. Uh, you know, obviously we've had we've had things going on in the background with uh, a few different knocks and injuries, etc. But um, you know, with a pretty healthy squad going into this game tonight, and on the back of the on, on the back of tonight, pretty healthy squad going into the rest of the week as well. Well, the, the mood's the, the mood's good anyway. Listen, uh, I mean, <clears throat> the mood's good. I mean, it, it does help when you win. Um, but it's all about improving and performance and, 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 and togetherness and growing as a group. And you know, it, it helps when you win a test match, obviously. But um, the mood would have still been great anyway. And, and exactly the same tonight. If the boys would have lost tonight, you know, would have learned, would have learned and pushed forward. Uh, you know, it's about growing the group, as as we've talked about non-stop on, on this tour and uh, we feel that we've done that anyway. Andy, uh, <coughs> Jordan Larmore with two tries, it's a you know, very, very lively time, very lively uh, tour, apart from the liveliness of the penalty try, but do you think he's, he's put his hand up there for, for a second? Um, there's a lot of lads that's, that, that's put the hand up and um, <coughs> I suppose that's the, that's the great part of uh, of the tour uh, is seeing people not just grow on the pitch because some certain things tend to happen on the pitch that can go your way or not, but um, we judge them how they are on a day to daily basis and whether they can be a good teammate, etc. And uh, we've seen people grow massively, um, not just not just um, as a rugby player, but um, as people, you know, coming out of themselves within the, in the group, which is which is massive for us uh, for next year. <clears throat> yes, certainly, yeah, um, um, and we'll see um, uh, what comes of this. Uh, obviously, it's up to the players to to dust themselves off, go on holiday, and what their appetite's like to start pre-season training uh, off of the bang, because. They understand what it's all about to be a top-line international player, um, and then, according to how pre-season goes for them, you know how they start the season and whether they put their hand up in the first seven games to get selected for for the autumn series is up to them and the hunger. You know they know what it's all about now. They know what's expected of them. So, uh, yeah, over to, over to them. Sorry. I was I was more pleased with the with the with the team performance because um, the 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 obvious thing to learn uh, from from the first game is that some lads were pretty desperate, you know, to show everything that they've got, and they understand that it's always got to be team first and not just discipline with the referee, but discipline in how we play the game. Uh, our discipline was pretty poor in that first game and a little bit desperate at times, and uh, they've learned a lot because. Uh, you guys obviously um, won't realise because you weren't on the pitch, but it was it was pretty brutal. The the, the conditions it was swirling everywhere for a young side to be able to manage the way through a game when when things aren't going uh, going right the whole time. You know, I thought was was tremendous. I mean, you look at the discipline that we had as far as territory is concerned and how our set piece uh, was was handled and how we went after them defensively. I thought they managed the game together as a whole uh, superbly well. 
Transition, throwing the ball around, um, they are uh, unbelievably dangerous. I mean, they, they, they challenge you massively as far as one-on-ones are concerned. Uh, they made a couple of line breaks out wide tonight and through the middle. Um, the skill set is, is, is tremendous and um, um, that's where they're always going to be dangerous, hitting, hitting, you, hitting you on the break. But having said that, because we played in the right parts of the field, we felt that they was going to continue to do that, and we forced a few errors, which which um, which was, uh, was was nice from our part. There's been a bit of chat um, around the international window and where the Māori All Blacks fit into that. Um, do you think the Māori All Blacks is a side of the calibre that could take on other Tier One nations? Well, we certainly feel that um, you know this is, is this is certainly not a Tier Tier Two Tier Three type of, type of game for us. You know, we we. With the side that obviously that we were putting out a, a, a newish side that's learning together and um, trying to trying to grow the squad, um, we've said all along that this is like five test matches for us. There's no, there's no doubt about that. Um, you know the the lads don't get a, a test cap for playing against the Murray All Blacks, but it's certainly a test match as far as the way that we was building it. Okay, what does it mean to leave your, your country? <clears throat> yes, it was generally of. One of my proudest moments. Um, uh, you know, all the people back home, the place where I'm from. You know, Limerick, rug, rugby crazy, and it was it was a huge honour. It was a huge honour, but it was a huge honour to to captain such. You know, I suppose a young side, an inexperienced side, and you know they're getting their first win in an Irish jersey down in New Zealand, and you know we done it together, and being being able to captain that side was uh, very special.